Hey, my lovelies, it's me, your girl here, Rain. Welcome to my channel, Anointed to Bling. If you're new here, welcome aboard. And if you're a returning visitor, I love you so much and I thank you for joining me. I'm back to show you my third and final installment to that lap shade chandelier. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this little beauty right here. You guys have watched me make a couple of different designs. You know that I had to have about six to eight and we came up with four different designs. And I showed you this one the other day. And I'm back to show you the final one, which is a pearl one that I am totally in love with. This isn't a full tutorial, but if you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. So the key to getting these pearls to float like this is to take your vase, put some E6000 or some hot glue in the bottom, and then I use these pearls that I got from Hobby Lobby, this beaded garland. This goes on sale for 50% off every other week, by the way. And then you're just going to press that down and let whatever's going to adhere adhere because when you put your wood base on and turn it over, gravity is going to do what it's going to do and the rest of the pearls are just going to fall nicely and then you're going to get that nice floaty look inside your vase. So I just wanted to make sure that I gave you that tip because this isn't a full tutorial, but I wanted you to at least see how I accomplished that because when you don't do it right, this is what happens they all fall to the bottom. Now, I can't take this apart and fix it. It's not terrible. But when I get ready to do my next one, I'll be sure to make sure that this is dry at the top before I turn it over. It just kind of fell. And that's because I use the E6000 with no hot glue. So you just want to make sure that things dry because ultimately, this is what you want is more of that snow globe effect. The second tip is I am using this two-strand rhinestone trim. As you can see, I'm just placing it around these parts. Now, originally when I put this on, I used the E6000. The problem with that is it slides, especially because the back of this is just not flat, all right? So when that's not flat, what you wanna do is run your E6000 along this if you want to, and then use your hot glue to affix it to this. So that way you don't get the sliding and you don't have to sit there and hold it. So that is tip number two for this project. Tip number three and final tip is a leveler is your best friend. Remember when you are working with these candle holders, the lips of these are not always flat. So you don't always get a flat look. So before you start building and gluing, make sure that you get it as flat as possible. If you're in the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby and you're buying these, make sure you test them out because if there's any bumps in these lips, it's not gonna be flat. Sometimes the way around it, because I have these going different ways, is to just turn one over, the one that's not your best. Like this one, this lip is not flat. You can see that right there. But when I put it against this particular vase, it ended up coming out pretty flush. So you wanna play with it. Make sure that when you're attaching these, that it's as flat as possible because that is the result that you want. If it's not, all of your building is gonna be in vain and this whole thing is gonna be crooked. The final look is always my favorite part of the process. And here it is, the full version of the now pearled out lampshade chandelier. Now, if you wanna find out how I built this from the ground up, I will make sure that at the end of the video that I link it back to the original. So stay tuned for that. And when you see my picture and the video pop up, go ahead and click it and you can see how I made this. But I just wanted to show you this up close. This right here is my favorite part where the pearls look like they're floating inside of that ball, as I said a little bit earlier. But I'm really pleased with how this came came out. I do not remember who told me to do one with all pearls, but if you're watching and that was you, 
thank you so much because you gave me a phenomenal idea. And I'm sorry that I did not go over all the supplies that I use. I had a clip and I don't know what happened to it, but I use pearls from Hobby Lobby. There's a, a $17 uh, kit of pearls that they have and then there's one at Michael's that they have which are like white with an iridescent um, and they're just in a little beaded box and I just mix those so if you're looking for that I'll definitely try to link that down below but I really like how this one came out and it fits right in with every single one it fits perfectly this is going to be absolutely stunning I am so excited and I cannot wait to see how this looks at the wedding for the reception and the ceremony. And it wasn't as time consuming as the black and gold one. As I said in that video, those pearls were so, so little that it took a really long time to cover the lampshade. But in this one, it really didn't. The, because the pearls are of a larger size, I was able to fulfill, or excuse me, fill that lampshade a lot faster. So that was good. I think I got through about half of it in probably like 20 minutes. So again, that was really, really fast compared to the last ones. And if you wanna know um, how I cut these uh, pearl strands that you see in front of you, it's a pearl strand of about 20 beads just to get it to sort of fall and hang exactly in, not quite the center, but just above of that center now here they are together this is the pearl one versus the very very first one that I did when I showed you guys the two different ones and they really complement each other very very well so I'm really pleased with how these came out I didn't get a frame with all four of them because we did this outside and they are a little heavy so be warned and I just didn't want to keep running back from the apartment to try to pull those other two out um, but I really like the way that these complement one another it's gonna work beautifully with my Gatsby design. So I hope that this inspired you. And again, if you want to make these at the end of this video, there'll be a link that'll pop up on your screen. You can hit that and see the video where I made these from the ground up. But of course, tell me what you think. I hope that you like this one as well. And I'm dying to know what your favorite one of these is. Mine is the pearl one, definitely. Remember the work of your hands are blessed and according to Philippians, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Until next project, you all be blessed.